to the Work Trends Podcast from Talent Culture. I'm your host, Megan Ambiro. Every week I interview interesting people who are reimagining work. And be sure to check out our Work Trends Twitter chat events calendar located at talentculture.com on the podcast page. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Talent Culture Work Trends podcast, brought to you by our special guest and sponsor, Ebenity. I'm your host, Megan Ambiro, and today we are discussing how companies can use employee perks to beat inflation. So let me give you some backdrop on how you build a case for why your organization needs to have an employee perks program. If you don't already, I hope you're listening in. As reported by Glassdoor, nearly 60% of job seekers say perks are a big factor when deciding whether to accept a job or not. And according to an article published by Indeed, employee perk programs can increase a company's bottom line. In this article, the editors at Indeed included an extensive report published by WorkHuman. In that report, WorkHuman found that organizations that score in the top 25% of employee experience enjoy, get this, nearly three times the return on assets and double the return on sales compared to organizations in the bottom 25% for employee experience. And guess what? WorkHuman identified employee perks as one of the factors that make a positive impact on culture and the employee experience. Further, here's where the human touch comes in. It shows employees that their employers are investing in their overall well-being. And there's a whole lot more for us to learn about employee perks. So here to discuss this topic with me today is Ben McIntyre. Ben is the manager of client success at Abenity, an employee perks and discounts company. He and his team work with large and small employers to provide their employees with real savings that help them stretch their earnings further to afford more of the things they have to do and the fun things, of course, they want to do. So I am so happy to have you with us here, Ben. I understand you have some juicy information to share with us, so I'm looking forward to our conversation. Let's dig right in, shall we? Absolutely. Great to be here, Megan. Thanks for having me today. Hey, shout outs to everybody, including yourself there in Nashville. That's a cool place. Yeah, love it. Rapidly growing city and a great culture here uh, in the city. You know, people come here to pursue their dreams. So it's a really special place. Well, speaking of dreams, I'm going to bring up your founder, Tell us about how he created a company focused on employee perks programs. Yeah, absolutely. So Abenity was founded by two brothers, Brian and Mark Rowland. And at the time, Brian was working for a cell phone service provider. And he was giving large employers cell phone discounts to pass on to their employees. So he was really kind of in the role of providing perks for, you know, a single brand to employers. And you know, as anyone who's worked for an organization with thousands or tens of thousands of employees likely knows, Brian wasn't the only person interested in offering exciting perks and discounts to those companies and their employees. So while HR teams certainly appreciated that perk, Brian was hearing again and again that it actually created a real burden for them to maintain accurate information and communicate that out to their employees. So in response to that, Brian and Mark built a website and eventually mobile apps as well that were branded for those big employers that helped them centralize all their private perks and discount offers into one place. And then actually gave those merchants direct access to be able to help maintain offer content. And we could actually work with the merchants even on behalf of the employers to help maintain that as well. So that's how we got started over 15 years ago, but it didn't stop with just building a platform to manage private perks. We've also built out our own network of national and local offers over the years. So we now have over a million redemption locations across nearly two dozen categories. And wow. when clients work with us, yeah, I know. I mean, <laughs> it's, really, it's I'm like, can we all like everybody out there in the work trends audience, you want to take a breath? I mean, talk about living your dream and making this 
accessible to people, employees, and everybody out there at the enterprise level. Pretty smart stuff. I mean, you don't just wake up and go, I mean, again, your brand has been around for years. And I was so fascinated when I started really uncovering more of the story. I was like, such a cool brand. You know, I think the cool thing there is that now that we have that, we can provide those savings, not only to big brands that would, you know, traditionally, they'd probably have a lot of companies coming to them, not certainly not that many coming and offering special perks and discounts for their employees. But now any small or medium sized business that traditionally wouldn't be able to negotiate those types of perks can offer that same great benefit for their employees that we provide for US Bank and some of the largest restaurant and healthcare and retail and other education, financial institutions all around the country. So it's really built something special that not just serves the needs of those big employers, but can also provide something really special that smaller employers might not have been able to access for their employees in the past. Oh my gosh, I was just about to say easy, low cost, effective way to add a smile to everybody's faces out there and show appreciation because we all know these are tough times right now. We need things that are positive. And this to me really reinforces this whole idea of full circle and giving back back and making a win-win for everybody involved. I mean, obviously not everything is always rosy, right? It's hard sometimes to get from A to B and do all this great work, but tell us what obstacles prevent employers from adding a perks program to their benefits package? Yeah, you're absolutely right, Megan. Perks are a really cost-effective way to help employees feel special and appreciated while also helping them stretch those payroll dollars further. They can easily afford things, right, that they have to do as adults and also afford more the stuff that they want to do. And I think one of the biggest obstacles, though, is maybe just the perception of time that people think it might take to offer great perks for their employees. Let me give you an example of that. Um, We were actually just talking to a large private university last week that's very influential in their community. They've got a lot of businesses who want to offer special perks and discounts for their employees. And we've worked with them for a few years now. But I was reminded during the conversation that back before they started with Abinity, they used to have a team member whose entire role was just dedicated to managing and maintaining offers from their vendors and from local community partners. So they were able to centralize all that and refocus almost all that team member's time into other initiatives. So you can just imagine if that is someone's perception of the amount of time it would take to offer something like this for their employees, or if they are a smaller business that doesn't have that inbound, but just is thinking, hey, how am I going to go get, you know, and negotiate all this individually with local people, just the time costs there. Once it's set up, it's really self-service for the employees to access on their own. If they've got any issues or questions, they can come to us. And then the main ongoing effort there is just for the employer to help communicate it as they would any other valuable benefit. What would you say to an organization that's on the fence about adding perks to their benefits package? Yeah, so this can be something that really outperforms. There's like ROI, you know, savings for employees, helping them stretch their payroll dollars further than the cost of offering this as a benefit. I was looking at the employee savings for a large healthcare provider that we served the other day, and their employees are mostly Western half of the United States. And last year, we helped their employees save $30,000 just on Disneyland tickets. Wow. Right? And that's one, yeah, yeah, that's, big. <laughs> that's one merchant out of thousands. And you know what I love about a perks program is that it, it's so flexible. Whether people are earning and spending a lot or their finances are a bit tighter, they want to save money either way. And they want to feel appreciated and special along the way. And then, you know, additionally, if they're sitting behind a desk, like I know I, I am many days, I assume you might be as well, or whether they're a deskless worker in a restaurant, manufacturing, or trucking, or the healthcare industry, this is a great benefit that they can enjoy at home, at work, on the go, it really touches across all that and is a super cost effective way to help them enjoy more in life. And at the same time, tie the employer's brand to those additional experiences that they're getting to do. Now we're talking, Ben. When we start talking full circle like this, that gets me up in the morning, right? That has me go and and get jazzed up for some coffee, wait, maybe espresso here in Portland. We have a lot of those options, as everybody knows. But really, this is good stuff because we're in a place where savings, especially in the climate we're in right now, matter greatly to so many, especially when we start talking about younger 
younger generations entering the workforce, I mean, they're picky about what companies interest them. They seek out employers that want to give back, especially those who are socially aware, demonstrate acts of social kindness, and are service-minded. So tell us about your social mission and why this is important to your organization. Yeah, I love this. So Avendi's social mission is really core to who we are as a company and as a team. Um, it really influences who's attracted to Avendi to come and work here. So we believe perks are about people. So every person is valuable. They matter and they can make a difference. And for us, that translates, yes, into providing valuable perks and discounts for employers and for their employees to help them remember that they're valuable matter and can make a difference. But we also have a social mission that we pair with our business. This was something that was core to our founders and that they built into our business model from the beginning. That a portion of our profits go to funding work with our missional partner, World Vision. And we now sponsor about 255 kids in Senegal, Africa for things like education, healthcare, access to clean water, economic development in those communities. It's just incredible work and transformation that happens in those communities from the perspective of healthcare and education and everything. And we're close to a giving mark of $2 million historically there. We just got to update the other day during our company's all hands meeting. And uh, we do this every year. We get an update directly from the team there about the impact impact that we're making. But it's also something that is integrated into our business throughout the year that we use to celebrate key milestones throughout the year and you know extra giving that we do. And we give you know to other events that are happening in the world that need resources to respond. And this is something, again, it's, it's integral to who our team is. We have relationships with these kids. We write to them and sometimes they're a part of this program for a decade or two. And ultimately the goal for World Vision is to get them to a point of those communities, to a point of sustainability. It's been really special last year. And then again, just a few weeks ago to have entire communities of kids really graduate out of that program to the point of their community is owning these new efforts. And so it's special to be able to have that graduation basically and then go on and, and support other kids and other communities. This for us, we think about as you think about younger generations wanting to work for companies who are socially minded, this to us it, it does attract a team that is aligned culturally around service, around giving back, and creates a lot of trust between our team in the workplace. What are some reasons why employee benefits are so important in today's workplace for the employee? And how is it likewise in advantage? to, well, the employer. Yeah, you know, Megan, what we hear again and again right now as we think about the rest of the year, the calendar year ahead after that is that employers are concerned you know, with prices on the rise for them, prices on the rise for employees, they might not be able to overcome inflation with just pay raises. And so employee perks like this can be, we've talked about it being really cost effective already, but that's great for the employer. But on the employee side, it can really give them added purchasing power, both for those things they have to do and the things that they want to do more of. And so for us, we think about it, how does it cross? Yeah, certainly financial well-being for the employee, but are there specific things that they're trying to do or that tie into other benefits areas even as well? Physical well-being, for example. You know, we've certainly seen some employers have to cut back on maybe subsidies for gym memberships and other physical well-being initiatives that they've had um, over the past couple of years. And we have an entire health and wellness category that can touch that, that can touch mental wellness. And that's another area that something like this can really begin to support across other parts of the benefits package as well. Well, we talk a lot, and I mean a lot, about workplace culture on this podcast. Tell us your interpretation of what makes great workplace cultures. Elaborate more on what you're talking about. And what does it have and what does it not have? Yeah, absolutely. So I'll share this in a key part of this context. We've talked about Avenity being a 15 year plus old company. Now we've been remote as a company the entire time. And so that really is a key part of my perspective that I'm bringing to this too, is that the trust that that culture alignment brings is really important as well. So the key things that make our remote culture work so well are trust, 
and autonomy, missional buy-in and vision that people are aligned around. We can't just have autonomy and trust without any structure there for the employee to align around healthy accountability, alignment to the mission and goals of the organization. Those are all critical. And when we think about what does a healthy culture not have, it really comes down to the dysfunction that comes from not having those things. Lack of unity, silos, internal politics. People may be more self-serving for themselves or for their part of an organization rather than being more one team, one dream, you know, focused on the larger mission. I mean, for us, again, that's measured in how we serve our clients and their employees and the merchants that we serve. And it also comes down to, hey, how can we do more serving in our social mission? How do we make more of an impact globally against this fight against extreme poverty? Good stuff, Ben. In closing, because time flies when we're having fun, what advice can you offer our listeners on learning more about the advantages of adding employee perks to their workplace offerings? And because we are a learning community here at Talent Culture, do you have any materials that our audience can review? Where do we go to learn more? Yeah, absolutely. So abenity.com, A-B-E-N-I-T-Y.com. That is a great resource. We've got a blog there. You can learn more about adding perks to benefits packages. We also have a perks report that's available for download there. So if you want to see you know, savings, examples, and comparisons, and the type of flexibility that a platform like Abenity can offer, uh, then that's a great place to go to learn more about the branding and content controls, flexibility, and getting something like this rolled out for your employees. Ben McIntyre, thanks so much for stopping by. This was really a lot of fun. Agreed. Thanks for having me, Megan. Thanks for listening to the Work Trends Podcast, your favorite source for all that's new and exciting in the world of work. If you love what we do here, do me a favor, share our podcast with your friends, your colleagues, your mom, your dog, your cat, and... Don't forget to tune in for our next episode. Catch up with you next time, friends. Thanks for listening to Work Trends from Talent Culture. Join us every Wednesday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern for a live Twitter chat with our podcast guest. To learn more about guests featured on today's show, visit the show notes for this episode at talentculture.com and help us spread the word. Subscribe to Work Trends wherever you listen to podcasts. Leave us a rating, review, and iTunes. Share Work Trends with your coworkers, your friends. Look forward to it. See you next time.